Hey everybody, I'm Darren, the Pennsylvania Beekeeper, and it's October 12th, about 4.30 in the afternoon. It's a beautiful day in Pennsylvania. Um, we had a high of about maybe like the mid-70s today, but um, it, has it has clouded up over the past few minutes, so I can literally feel like the temperature is dropping as I'm standing here talking. And watching the bees, I can see that there is some bee activity, but they are they seem to be like they're returning to the hive, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect that probably the bees are going to be done flying here probably within a half hour. But about two weeks ago, I put my Formic Pro pads in. It was September 27th I put them in. Actually, I put my Formic Pro pads in four hives, four of my strongest hives. And um, I, I had some high mite count, so that's why I decided to try the Formic Pro. Like, eventually, you, you know, you got to kind of, like, step up your mite program. So that's really what I'm trying to do. But I'm going to go into those four hives today. Hopefully, it doesn't take me long at all. And um, i got to see what happened with the, with the bees. Um, did I lose any bees? Did I lose a queen? Did I did I lose brood? What happened? Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next 20 minutes or so. So uh, let's get to it and uh, see what happened with my bees. This was the first hive that I put the Formic Pro into. This was the hive that I uh, had to nurse back to health <laughs> over the summer. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get the queen to mate until actually it was maybe like a month and a half ago. But the population was pretty good when I put the uh, Formic Pro in. There's not a lot going on on the landing board, and maybe that's just because things are cooling down and, the, you know, the, the weather, the temperatures are cooling down real fast. So I'm going to go ahead, look in this hive, get that Formic Pro pad out of there, check this bottom box, and hopefully I see something in there, some eggs or, or something in there that lets me know this, this hive's good. And hope, hopefully the bees aren't too grumpy. I hear them in there, they're not liking that. Little shot of smoke, let them know I'm coming. This box is heavy, heavy. Lots of honey in these boxes. Take a... Oh, couldn't even budge that. There. Got it. One, two, three. Well, look at that. We've got bees all over the Formic Pro pads, so obviously the, the pads have lost their potency. Um, Smoke them down. Well, so I just went through the right side of the hive and there's nothing in there, just, just um, nectar. The bees are getting kind of aggressive right in here, so maybe I just hit the brood nest. Hopefully I did. Lots of bees. I got a lot of bees in this hive, but there's no brood. Still no brood. There's my brood. It's real spotty. I got brood on this side. Uh. 
Okay, so I, I, I've I seen everything I need to see. There's, there's capped brood in here, there's larvae, and there's eggs in here. So, and there's plenty of bees in here. Both boxes are just, just have a really great population of bees. So, I like what I see so far. Now, I don't have time today to do a mite count, but I, I might be doing that tomorrow. I put this hive back together. <sighs> the bee population in this hive looks really good. You can't tell by looking at the top bars, but the both boxes have a lot of bees. I don't think that Formic Pro did any kind of damage to this hive at all, as far as like a hive population. I don't think that if it, the queen did stop laying it wasn't for very long so this this hive looks good i'm optimistic about this hive uh, this will probably be the last time that i get into the hive this year it doesn't have any kind of activity on the landing board but it it is cooled down quite a bit you got to get in there and see what's going on There's some bees in there, not a lot. Let's get those pads out of there. Oh. We definitely got honey. They're all over the pads. This hive is light. some feeding. This nectar. I'm not seeing much. I'm seeing like a lot of nectar and pollen. Not a lot of bee population though. I'm seeing, I don't see any dead bees on the bottom board. Oh yeah. There's some. Okay, there's brood here and there, there's larvae in here. A little, just a small patch of it. She's laying. The population looks, it's, Kind of diminished though unless maybe i i miscalculated the population when i put the uh the pad in maybe i thought it was the population was greater than what it really is but it just seems to me like that it has less population than it had 
but I'm not seeing any signs like any evidence of like dead bees on the bottom board or anything like that so could have been a miscalculation <laughs> Okay, I'm a little bit disappointed in the population of this hive. Now this bottom box does have a small patch of brood in it. There's fresh eggs and larvae, young larvae in there. On um, the top is just completely full of honey. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't see any... There might have been some robbing going on in this hive. That's probably like one of the problems with, with doing using like a treatment like Formic Pro this time of year because you have to take the entrance reduces off. The entrances, entrances need to be wide open and then you are exposing the hive to robbing you know, in one of the worst times of year, during one of the worst times of year for robbing. So, uh, just something to think about if you decide to start using Formic Pro. But there might be enough population in here that the bees can make it. And the queen's not done laying yet. We're, we got like the next 10 or, I think the 10 day forecast is supposed to be, you know, in, up at a 60s and 70 degree range. And our bees really don't shut down in the winter time. If they do, they don't shut down till maybe like December, January completely shut down like as far as like laying so i think that this hive might might end up it'll, it'll i think it'll be okay but time will tell we'll know in the spring let's take a look at this hive real quick can't waste too much time it's getting dark One, two, three. <laughs> Let's try that again. One, two, three. <clears throat> so, get rid of that one. Population looks good on this, at least the bottom box it does. Oops. Let's see, I'm not going to poke around in here too much. I just want to poke around long enough to see if I can find some eggs. Bees are getting cranky, so I must be getting close to the brood nest. Is there any brood here? This is where the main cluster is. Not seeing any brood. I'm not really seeing anything in this box. That there, there is like actually no sign in this box that there's a queen in here that's actually laying. So I'm going to have to check the top box. Okay, I want to take a look at this top box and see what's going on in here. Lots of nectar, that's what's going on. Okay. I've seen enough. I was getting concerned. There's nothing really going on in that bottom box, but this top box. She's laying up here in this top box. So, I feel good now. <laughs> Let's move on to the next hive. One more to go. Last hive. Yeah, this hive here can be a little grumpy, so I decided to save it for last. If you look in there, on these pads, you can see it's like there's feces in there. I don't know if it's from like wax moth, maybe? I don't know if you, you probably can't see that, but there is a, there's like a, a larvae or a pupae there, and there's a, looks like a pupae there. There are a few dead bees on, on those, uh, Formic Pro pads. But the bees are crawling all over it now. I 
I just want to see some evidence that there's a queen in here and she's laying. If the bees don't sting the crap out of me first. And they're really propolizing everything. That's what's bad about this time of year. I didn't see anything in that bottom box at all. There's no sign of any brood or nothing in there. So hopefully there's something on top. Hopefully. So, I don't have any like decisive results from what I just did in a bee yard. I mean, I, I checked four hives and three of those hives they have laying queens, um, small patches of brood, fresh larvae, fresh eggs, um, but but they all they are small patches. Um, I think smaller than they normally would be this time of year. And one hive, I did not find anything. It's, I don't think that I'm, I'm not suggesting that I lost a queen, but I just think that maybe she's not laying yet at this point. But that hive, particular hive, does have a good population. Three of my hives have good population. One doesn't. Now here's the thing. All of my hives though, the, <clears throat> the population is much less than it was two weeks ago when I put the Formic Pro in. I'm, I can't, I don't think that the, it was a Formic Pro. I'm just wondering if it's just the change of season and just the summer bees have just died off. I don't know exactly what the timeline is for that and how quickly those summer bees died off, but my populations are definitely lower. Some of these, the hives that I looked at could probably be knocked down to like one, one brood chamber. <clears throat> this had a camera malfunction. I mean, I can't really say whether or not, you know, the, uh, the uh, Formic Pro did any damage or not. Only thing I can suggest is do the Formic Pro earlier in the year. Like, I waited till September 27th, and that was just kind of like an emergency impulse on my part because I noticed my, my mite counts were a lot higher than I thought. <clears throat> but next year, if I decide to use Formic Pro, which I probably will, I'll do it much earlier in September. So, um, anyway, take it for what it's worth. Uh... I'm Darren, I'm a Pennsylvania beekeeper, and I will see you next time.